Hello, Citizens Councilor Giancarlo Carra here, Ward 9 TV Light. I am here to sort of put a bow on what happened this past Monday, May 16th, with regard to the bylaw amendments regarding secondary suites that finally crawled back to council after being tabled a while ago. Just to sort of put everything into perspective, uh, the last major move that was attempted to get secondary suites legalized across Calgary, and keep in mind that great neighborhoods make a great city and secondary suites are an integral part of that. We had members of council who were not comfortable with a broad legalization. They were worried about all kinds of things. And the members of council representing the inner city wards, 7, 8, 9, and 11, said, you know, if councils are worried about what the ramifications and the fallout are going to be, if there are going to be any, why don't we let 7, 8, 9, and 11 do it first, and then we can assess, and you can either go citywide or we can claw back from there. And uh, council said yes to that, and so we actually went forward with bylaw amendments, and uh, uh, the 11th hour, council balked, and 7, 8, 9, and 11 were denied the opportunity to try and get there. And that basically ended the secondary suite debate I think until 2017. There are rumors that Councillor Keating out of Ward 12 might be trying some grand unification theory, uh, but we'll see if that happens. In any event, the only thing that sort of stuck in my mind coming out of that, uh, despite the outside of the bitter disappointment, was a very clear argument made by people who were proponents of suites that we weren't regulating the suites that we were already regulating appropriately. In fact, we had too much regulation layered on. And so what you have to understand is that um, we regulate for parking. If you provide a suite, you have to provide an off-street parking space on the, on the property. We regulate for amenity space. If you provide a suite, there has to be a private amenity suite for the tenants of the suite. We regulate for overlook issues and privacy issues, both with regard to the main house as well as the surrounding neighborhood. And then we also require the, the building code uh, be addressed in terms of life safety and all of those things. Um, on top of that, for some reason that no one quite remembers, they're sort of lost in the midst of time, we also put arbitrary rules in terms of how wide the lot could be and how many square feet the suite should be. And what we've found out over the years is that those are fairly arbitrary and they don't actually address the really important things, which are what I just, the four points that I just addressed, as well as a suite of other issues that pertain to the entire lot in general, like lot coverage. You cannot blanket your lot with built form. In fact, only 40 to 45% can actually be covered with built form. And so there are all kinds of things that regulate the size and disposition of the suite. And the argument that was made, uh, particularly from private sector uh, people who had brought suites online or were bringing suites online, was that these arbitrary square footage restrictions and these arbitrary width restrictions were in fact over-regulation. They were reducing and stifling innovation in the space. And that made such an impression on myself and some members of council, including Councilor Chabot, who generally sits on the other side of the secondary suite debate with me that Councilor Chabot and I brought forward a notice of motion that said, look, let's not over-regulate, let's get rid of these arbitrary rules so that we can actually regulate the things that are meaningful and we're not stifling innovation. That came through Council like in January and it passed 14-1. They said, absolutely, this is just simple house cleaning, bring it forward, and that's what we did. And then when it finally came to Council bringing it forward, uh, there had been a massive amount of misinformation put out about this in the community and there was a lot of concern and I actually did an award 9 TV a couple weeks ago sort of explaining what that misinformation was. What happened on Monday was we did not remove the unnecessary regulation. We acknowledged that the existing regulation was not good and we removed that and we put in place better regulation. So on narrower lots, chances are you're only going to be able to fit the car and do everything you need if there's a lane or if it's on a corner lot. And so we just made that explicit in the bylaw. We also removed the square footage restrictions on uh, 
basement suites, in-house suites, and in fact, basement suites were allowed to expand to the entire floor plate of the basement. Uh, there was a lot of concern about above garage suites and cottage suites, and so those remain at 75 square meters, which is the only place where we didn't move the dial, but you can get a lot done in that space. So on the whole, I consider this to be a win in terms of moving the ball forward, in terms of the essential philosophical argument that we shouldn't be over-regulating. It wasn't quite a win, but putting better regulation in place rather than having needless and bad regulation is a step in the right direction. So on the whole, a win, and there's going to be a lot of places in Calgary where suites were allowed in the land use district but were not allowed because of arbitrary rules where they now will be allowed. And I encourage Calgarians who are thinking of establishing suites to uh, get creative because you've got a little bit more wiggle room and we want to see great designs. Thank you so much. Councillor Giancarlo Carras signing off.